Guys, listen, there's a lot of really good people in this world, I'm telling you when I say this, that are just like you going after their best lives, okay? And I'm watching them constantly increase. But there's something special about all these people increasing, okay? There's something really special. And I want us to all get prepared for something that's going to happen, okay? And this is why we're training, okay? Not, not, not to just make a lot of money, but obviously to get ready for something that I can tell you is coming. There's going to be a market shift coming. There's going to be a market shift coming, okay? And when it comes, if you're not ready, when it goes back to the old way, what does a good market do? Spoils people. Does that make sense? Okay, so I don't know how it is in the roofing. Is there a lot of roofing people making more money? A lot of people home warranties making more money? The market's up. It's just hot. It's good. It's kind of like the winds in your cells, right? It's like it's just blowing the boat. It just feels good. So what happens is you got a lot of people right now because the market's up. Trades are worth more money than ever. They're just making more money than they've ever made in their life. So what happens is literally they're not getting better. Gulf States Toyota. I want to give you some numbers real quick, and then I got something for you guys. They said in 2020... They made like $1 billion or something like that. Gulf States Toria, okay? They just came out with the new numbers at the end of 2021. Or actually, 2019, they made, yeah, 2019, they made $1 billion. 2022, they just finished their numbers. They made $4 billion. They're up 4X. That's some crazy shit. Now, if they're up 4X, I was a part of their meeting, and I was listening to it, and the head guy goes, let me ask you a question. Have we got four times better? Or is the market up? It's the market, clearly. We've had nothing to do with this. He goes, let me ask you a question. When this market goes back to this, are your people four times better? He goes, you know what I think? I think that right now we could be eight billion. We've got this wind in our cells, this great market, and if our, if our sales teams became skilled and they could really do their job great, we could really capitalize in this great economy right now. And I wanna ask you this, okay? Who sets your economy? Do you live in other people's economies or do you create your own economy? You create your own economy. Remember you said that. Whatever you think is going to happen in your life can happen. I need you guys to get prepared for war. I'm going to ask you a question. If I told you right now, okay, um, you guys got kids? Okay, who's got kids in here at home? Okay, you got kids at home. If I told you that somebody was going to break into your house in two years and they were going to try to attack your family in the middle of the night, would you start training? If I could guarantee it. I'm going to guarantee you this, this market's going to shift. And when it shifts, if you're not ready, you will lose everything. Right now, you're buying bigger, buy nicer cars, you're buying more expensive stuff, you're buying nicer houses, you're doing all kinds of shit. Guys, right now is your time to get financially free. Right now is your time to literally make a million dollars. It's your time. You're only going to get these two years. We're making history right now. Okay, and I don't know about the roofing deal and about home warranties and about lumber and all that shit. I know lumber prices are through the roof. We're building a house right now. And, the, and the, the price they quoted us a year ago and the price today are just two little different prices as we're going through building because they keep talking about lumber prices going up and shit. I don't like it. What am I going to do? Not build my house? Okay. It's just part of life. Am I right? Okay. Am I going to give up my dreams because it gets up? Am I going to quit driving my car because gas is more? I think I'm not even driving anymore. I don't want to pay gas. Right? I mean, no, seriously, it's a pretty good analogy, right? You know what I'm saying? You can tell people, like, dude, am I going to stop driving my car? You know what I'm saying? Look, you're going to go to the gas station, right? You've been, you, anybody of you guys have a gas station you use all the time? You, like, go to the same place all the time before? Same place? I've been using the same gas station for a long time. Let's just say I'm talking to a customer. Your customer gets a little mad at you. When we're going over this, could you see a customer kind of getting a little bit frustrated with you? Remember I told him, um, wherever we're at, I told him, I said, hey, we bought our last three cars here, right? We've got free, five, five grand off each time. This time, why we got to pay five grand more? He should have said, hey, man, I totally get it. I completely understand. Look, I, I, so I go to the same gas station for the last 10 years. The lady inside, she's amazing. And that's why you came back, because we're amazing, right? So I go to that same gas station. We always treat you gay. great. But she comes here, and she's been getting gas for $3 a gallon forever. But guess what? Now it's five. You think I should get mad at her? You think she had anything to do with that? Should I get mad at the gas station lady? No, oh, she didn't do anything. She still treats me great. I still need gas. I still do business with her. I want you to feel the exact same way with us. You see how you can change things around? Look, you're like literally a perspective shift away from getting your customers to realize um, what it is that you want them to do, and they'll do it, okay? So I just want to say to everybody that, look, we're going to shift something up for just a second, but I want you guys to do me a favor. Is everybody understanding how to communicate, how to work differently, how to operate differently, okay? Are you guys thinking about, and I, hey, you know what would be super cool? If you guys are really serious, like really like serial entrepreneurs, like you want to just go hard and kill it, 
why don't you call your competition when you get out of here? The, the, the best way that we learned how to get great was 2018, we started calling Cardone. We would call and we'd go through demos. And the reason, and we, we, we called them all the time, right? We were all different kinds of names, different people. I use your account this time, you use your one. And we'd have them demo us. You know what we learned? They didn't give a shit about us. How many people do you have on your sales team? All right, do you guys want to make more money? Do you want to make more money? You got to sign up on this. And that was the pitch. And we were like, oh man, we need to think about it. And they're like, think about what? Your future? Either you're going to die or you're going to win with us. You know, it was like, listen, that was the deal. And by the way, they didn't care about us. So we decided to build a culture around really giving a shit about people, right? And do it differently. I want you to do, and, and we do that. I want you to do the same thing. People need to buy, right? They need to buy from people who care, but nobody cares. So if you guys in here could decide to go back home and do what we did and go call five car dealerships and say, hey, I was just gonna call and get some information. Oh yeah, uh, what's your best price? Oh, I'm too far away. Uh, the miles are too high. You just say anything. Watch them get mad at you like it's your fault, okay? Like, listen, why did you even call me if you're gonna waste my time? You're like, what? Hey, can I get, hey, what's your best price? Look, if you want a better deal, call Carvana. Dude, we get the craziest shit. We hear this stuff. And that's the reason why I'm bringing it back to you guys to say, do you want to really make a lot of money? Are you really going to act like those people? So what you do is you decide to build a new company, which is you, you're a company. You decide to build a new company that the world's never seen. You talk differently, you act differently, you work differently. But listen, when you go back in your stores, I want her to be like, dude, who in the hell is that? Who in the hell? When you go back home to the person that maybe is living with you that let you come out here that said, hey, go enjoy and, you know, I hope you learn something. Dude, you didn't learn something. You went back home and you got a new name. You're a different person. Now act on it and be disciplined. And all the stuff that you learned, hopefully a lot of you guys are on the training platform and you can log straight in and start doing training every day. Okay? Sean talked about time. Pick up a time. What time are you going to work out? What time are you going to start your day? Listen to me. If you hit snooze right here, Legend or average? I would write on your phone, I am not going to be average anymore. Dude, if somebody called you average, you'd be pissed, right? But what if they were telling you the truth? Now you'd be really pissed, okay? Sometimes I have to figure out how to piss myself off, okay? But like Sean said, be grateful and be pissed. You know what I'm saying? Your little edge, your little fire, your little spark is what's gonna make things happen.